Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to Have to Catch and Fishing. It's uh, spring here, well, sort of spring in Maryland. It gets chilly one day and it's 75 the next. Like, it's only 50 degrees right now. It's overcast. We're waiting for the sun to come out. It's not going to come out today. Um, but uh, I have a couple things I want to show you. I'm at my favorite farm pond where they let me come out and uh, take a look at some things. Not even sure if the fish are biting yet, but we got a new toy. So, uh, those who do not have access to a boat or uh, any way to get out on the water uh, might have some neat way of catching some fish here so let me uh, show you what i picked up in the winter season i picked up an rc bait boat this thing is a lot bigger than i thought you can take a look it has two dual propellers in here antenna on off switches it even has a light up here if you want to do something in the nighttime um, in the center here it has a battery pack here. It's like four, uh, like double A battery kind of rolled into one. Um, they, I don't know the name of it, but you can order additional ones. Um, you can see it's got Take some two. pretty nice size to it. So as you can see, it's got a really sleek, uh, dynamic design. Cuts through the water really nicely. And of course it works really well for the wind. So um, one of the other neat things about this is these two buckets here. This is what they call a bait boat. So people would take this and fill it up with their their corn or whatever their feed is that they're going to use for their their ponds like this. so this thing on the back of this has uh, two um, bait buckets here and uh, with the controller I can hit a button and release one or both of them at the same time uh, this is really neat for those who have uh, the need to feed their fish somewhere else out there it's just kind of a fun toy so we have some ideas on what we can use this for to catch us some bass in some of these ponds and or bluegills just some fish and see how it goes uh, i know that we've seen other people use small rc boats and they've gotten swallowed up this is not a tiny boat this has got some good size and weight to it so we have some really interesting thoughts and ways how we can get out there and catch the fish including use of maybe like an eye bobber or some sort of a portable sonar device attached to it looking for fish below so I'll tell you what before we do anything else do me a favor like and follow and or subscribe depending upon where you see this it helps my channel i would love to get to um, the minimum requirements so that i could go live on all of the uh, platforms like youtube um, instagram and uh, tiktok especially uh, and then I can show you what I'm doing live. So that'd be great. Doesn't cost you anything. Takes less than a second for you to click that button. I do appreciate it. So we're going to work on this today. But uh, until we do get this, I want to go see if we've got any fish. So why don't you come along? Let's see if we can do that. Marker. And Some pretty nice size to it. It's really sleek for the, the weather time and um, or excuse me for the wind and uh, we're gonna go ahead and cut that part out take two <laughs> Can, should we just should that just be part of the movie now he, he lost his string <laughs> for their, their ponds like Mr. Uh, G that I, I showed you the other year um, take three GoPro stop recording.